So let's go on to the next tool, which is the grabber tool. And the quick key for the grabber tool is F8. Now, if we click and hold down on the grabber tool, we can see that there's three sub tools. The first one is the most common one that you'll be using, which is the grabber time tool. So this first grabber tool is a very basic, very simple tool used to select and grab clips, pick clips up, move them around within the session. Very simple, very basic tool. So the next sub tool of the grabber is the separation tool. Just press F8 and it selects the grabber separation tool. So the separation tool is kind of used in conjunction with the selector tool. With the selector tool, you make a selection and then going back to the separation tool, I can actually take the selection, remove it from its position in the clip and place it in a new area in the session. So I'll do that. So I'll se select the selector tool again, and that's F7. Go here. I'll select the grabber separation tool, F8, and I can move it to wherever I want. The next grabber tool is the object grabber tool. So pressing F8 on the computer keyboard, we'll select the object grabber tool. So with the object grabber tool, we can select clips that are on different tracks and we can actually select them at one time by holding down the shift button on the keyboard. Then releasing shift, we can move them around. Just undo. And we can even select different types of clips MIDI and audio clips at the same time. And again, they don't have to be adjacent or right next to one another. Next tool is the scrub tool and the quick key for the scrub tool is F9. And basically the scrub tool allows us to go over specific areas or specific moments of time within a clip. And we can kind of hear things back slowly and look for any anomalies or things that stand out. So using this tool, we can find precise areas that would be good to trim or to cut or edit. We can go forward or backwards. And we can even go slow. And the speed of the playback is dependent on how slow or fast we move our mouse. By moving the mouse slow, the playback will obviously be slow. And if we move it faster, we'll get a faster playback. Keep in mind when you're scrubbing audio, you can only hear two channels at a time, no more. Next up is the pencil tool. And the pencil tool can be used for a whole host of different things. We can redraw waveforms as you can see here. We can use it for automation and MIDI data as well. And if you click and hold or press F9 repeatedly, you can cycle through all the different pencil tools that we have available. Now, a lot of these pencil tools are used a lot in MIDI and automation, and we're going to get to a lot of that in an upcoming video. Now, the final tool we have is the smart tool, which is a combination of the trimmer tool, the selector tool, and the grabber tool. And we can access the smart tool by clicking on this bar up top here or on the computer keyboard at the same time holding down F6, F7, and F8. Now, it's important to keep in mind that whatever trimmer or grabber tool you have currently selected at the time when you select the smart tool will be active. If you have the TCE tool active, when you select a smart tool, that TCE tool is going to be used instead of just the normal trimmer tool. So it's always good to go back to the normal default tools before you make your smart tool selection, as you'll be using the default tools on a regular basis. So here with the smart tool available to us, depending on the type of material or the type of clip that the mouse is over, certain tools within the smart tool will appear. So if we go up to the top of this audio clip, we see the selector tool appears. If we go down further to the bottom, we see that the grabber tool appears. And if we go to the top left of this clip, the fade tool will appear. Now let's say I have an edit here made, or I have two clips lined up together. 
with the Smart Tool active as I move along the clip at the top or middle, once I get to the edit here, or once I get to the division of clips, the trim tool appears. And also if I take the smart tool and if I move it to the end or even the beginning of any clip, the trimmer tool will appear. And if I go further up the clip area, the crossfade tool appears. And as I move further in, you'll see the selector tool appear again. Now going over MIDI data, it'll act a little bit differently. I've got the selector tool, and as we go further down, it goes into the grabber tool. So once you get your head around using the smart tool and how it works, it's going to save you a lot of time and you're going to see how fast your whole workflow will become as a result.